Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to my channel. In this quick and awesome video, I'm going to teach you how you can mirror cast your Android 12 device, any device by the way, to your Samsung non-Android TV. And it's completely free, it's all wireless, and the best part is that you don't need to download any third-party apps because everything is built into it. It's really smooth, you can do a lot, you can play games if you want to, you can browse music, watch videos, you can do a lot. So let's just dive right into it. Alright, so as I said before, this is for Android 12, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean you don't like you know you, it, does, it works with any Android device you have. In this case, I'm using Motorola, but if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely help. Oh, I mean, get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so a couple of things before we start. As I said before, everything is built into it, so we have to set it up properly first. The first thing you want to do on your Android 12 device is to make sure your phone is connected to your uh, Wi-Fi. Now, you have two options, by the way. I'm going to show you both. I'm going to show you both how both actually works. So the first one is going to be your home Wi-Fi. If you have home Wi-Fi, I would recommend you use your home Wi-Fi and connect your phone to your home Wi-Fi. But let's just say if you don't have home Wi-Fi, that is completely okay. You can always, always use your mobile hotspot, but just be careful with the mobile hotspot. Depending on where you live, depending on your mobile data, this might not be free, okay? So I'm just going to turn it on and just to show you for an example that how it actually going to work. So in a second, but as I said before, you have two options. You can use your home Wi-Fi, which I would recommend, or you could also use your hotspot. Just be careful with the mobile hotspot. Depending on your mobile data plan, it might not be free, okay? So don't go crazy. All right, so now let's jump back to the TV and let's do this. Okay, so this is a 11 years old Samsung TV, and this is not Android, by the way. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure your TV is connected to that exact same network that we used on the phone. So in this case, you have your home Wi-Fi, but if you don't have home Wi-Fi, you can always use your mobile data. I'm gonna show you in a couple of seconds right there. It's gonna search for all the available networks and right there, the first one is my home Wi-Fi and the second one is actually coming from my phone. That's actually the hotspot that I turned on earlier. So you can actually use your hotspot. Just be careful with it. Do not go crazy with it, okay? I've heard a lot of people complaining about this, so okay. Just for the sake of this video, I'm going to just connect my TV to my home Wi-Fi. It's really simple. You have it. You know, you have tons of it. So home Wi-Fi is recommended. But again, you can always use your uh, hotspot if you want to. All right. So as you can see, my TV is connected. By the way, I have done this before. That's why I didn't ask for the password. But if you look closer into the network settings, you have the option for the screen mirroring. Now, this is a really old TV. So we have to manually enable the TV for the screen mirroring mode. If you don't, if you have latest version of Samsung or anything like that, you don't have to manually enable it. Now, you can always you go to the source and change it to screen mirroring mode. That way it will be, you know, TV will be enabled to be mirrored to. That means we're basically telling the TV that you are, are you ready to be mirrored to? Yeah, pretty simple. All right, so once you're on the screen mirroring tab, that's two ways actually you can have, how you can connect it. First one is gonna be into the control center. If you look closer, it's gonna be screen cast. Again, if you have a different uh, brand of, uh, you know, Android phone, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you another way, but just look for the, uh, you know, look for anything like screen mirroring, mirror cast or something in the control panel. Other way you can go is to go into the connected devices. Now, this might be different for all the users, so let me know in the comment section below. I will help you out. Into the connection preferences, it's going to be the cast option. So inside the cast option, by the way, really simple. Inside the cast option, it will automatically detect any Android TV that is running in the background. So in order to do, in order to cast the known Android TV, you have to manually enable the wireless display. So click on the settings icon and just click on enable wireless display right there. So once I enabled it, it automatically show it automatically showed there is a wireless display that needs to be casted to. It's ready actually. So all you have to do is just click on your Samsung TV and it's connecting. By the way, keep an eye on the TV in the background. It's gonna change just a few seconds. Uh, you know, just it's gonna sh right there, right there. It's connecting in the background. It's pretty simple, really awesome. And wait for it. There you go. It's a trackpad, by the way. You can use your phone as a trackpad if you want to. But it's really, really cool. Now, once the TV, once the once your Android phone is connected to your TV. I gave a couple of seconds, it will smooth out automatically, but you can listen to music if you want to. Also, the audio will be coming from your TV, so that's cool. You can watch videos if you want to. You can even use your camera if you want to. So it's really, 
really awesome right there i just i just did that it's really cool i mean it's it's live you can actually take pictures and view your photos it's really cool i mean you can use instagram if you want to you can use facebook if you want to you can do whatever you like you can even play games if you want to so uh by the way stick to the end of this video i'm going to show you how to stop this really simple as well but uh, that's it. That's it for the video. And also, just go back into the cast settings. Just click on your TV and it will show you the disconnect option. I just, I'm just clicking on the edge so it's actually going away. But yeah, just click on it and it will automatically ask you to disconnect. So that's pretty much it. By the way, if you have not, if you, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below, okay? Do let me know in the comment section below. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe, okay? And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. By the way, be, uh, do follow me on Instagram. There's a lot of great photos that I'm gonna about. I'm about to show you actually. So yeah, be sure to follow me on Instagram. There's a lot of tons of tons of great content there as well. But that's it for that's it for the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.